I can't believe it's already March. That means only two more months of school and then summer. And you guys have no idea how excited I am about that because I am so done with school. Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with my March TBR. I have four books for my TBR like every month. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book that I'm hoping to read for March is Dreamland by Sarah Dessen. I don't know why, but I'm in like a super contemporary mood lately. I think because I've read so many like crappy books in the past two months that contemporary just flies by so I'm like it's gotta be cute. I don't really know anything about it. I just always buy Sarah Dessen books like whenever I see them. I'm like oh Sarah Dessen I need to buy it. Even though I usually don't like Sarah Dessen books that much, I just for some reason she's like a cover buy for me. Or not a cover buy, an auto buy? Is that what it's called? I don't know why. I don't know. Apparently, love can be a very dangerous thing, and that's the only thing it says. We'll see if this is in fact a true statement after I read this book, because I don't know. The second book that I'm hoping to read for March is Shift by Jerry Smith Reddy. This is the second book in the Shade trilogy. I read Shade, like, back in 2014, and I really, really liked it. But I was also, like, 12 years old. I wasn't actually 12. I can't do the math because I'm not that smart. But it was a while ago, I was a lot younger. He follows Aura, whose boyfriend Logan dies on his birthday, and then he basically haunts her, and she wants to move on to be with another boy named Zachary, but she can see Logan still, so it's all like, oh my god, I can see my dead boyfriend, but like, Zachary's hot. And it's basically just the continuation of that story. I've had this on my shelf for a while, and I just, I need to finish the trilogy, even though I don't have the third book. I just, I need to continue on, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully. We're gonna like it, but with my reading lately, I'm probably gonna hate it. Can you tell I'm having a struggle with my reading lately? It's fine. So then, like every month, I'm planning on reading an arc. So my arc for this month is Pendulum by Adam Handy. It came with a letter that keeps falling out of here, but I took the dust jacket off because I don't read with my dust jackets on because then I break the dust jackets because I'm destructive. So I took it off. But I think the book sounds so cool. I'll read you guys the like synopsis thing. It says, you wake confused, disoriented, a noose is around your neck. You are bound, standing on a chair. All you can focus on is the man in the mask tightening the rope. You are about to die. Like, that sounds so good. I think it would be super awesome. And so therefore, I'm reading it this month and it's going to be great. And Apparently it's supposed to come out June 2017. So I'm actually reading it before the release date, which I never do. So... I'm excited. And then my final book is my diverse book of the month, and it is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. It follows two twins. One is named Jude, one is named Noah, and something happens in their past to make them not talk to each other anymore, and that's all I really know, and then I know that one of them is gay. So that's how it's diverse. I want to go into it like super blind, because everybody says this book is amazing, but I don't know if it actually is because I haven't read it yet. But I'm on page 70, and so far I really like it. So. There you go. And also this cover is real pretty, so needs to be read. Alright guys, so that is my March TBR. I'm probably going to read more than four books, but you know, aim low. It's my motto, aim low and reach for the stars. It's not actually my motto, I just got that right now, but it's fine. I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!